Hi everyone, this is Becca from Mad Mimi. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a web form. A web form is a form that allows people to add their own names and email addresses to your audience list. It looks a little something like this. People can add their names, information, and email addresses here to be added to your Mad Mimi audience. You and your subscribers can also use these social buttons at the foot of the form to share it on Google+, Pinterest, Facebook, and Twitter. To get that set up, just click on Web Form on the top right of your account. This will take you to a page where you can start to build your own web form. Just click the button and jump right in. This is the page where you can set up all the details for your web form. The first thing to do is choose which audience list to send new subscribers to. I like adding them to a list that specifies where they came from, like this list called New Signups. Adding people to this list will let you know that they've signed up via your web form. You can also rename the web form, like Becca's Signups. By default, the web form will be set to gather email addresses, but you can add plenty of other information too. Just scroll down and you can choose which information to gather. Use the drop down button to add a field like name, city, or you can use the drop down to add your own custom field, like favorite color. Add it there and you'll see it reflected here on the web form. These changes are automatically saved. Once somebody signs up using that web form, all the information you gather will be available in the audience member information section. To find that, just click on the audience list and click on the person's name. From there, you'll see all the information that they signed up with, like first name, last name, email, city, company, and favorite color, and you'll see what list they're a member of. If you want to change the look and feel of your web form, you can do that using the theme button. You can choose the background color for your logo and the background color of the form itself. If you'd prefer to use an image for your logo instead of the company name from your account section, you can certainly do that. Just design a logo to fit in this space and then use the browse button to add it there. You can also use your own background image if you prefer. Now let's take a look at the Advanced tab. All Mimi web forms are double opt-in by default. That means that when they click on the Sign Up button, they'll also need to click a confirmation link in their email. When they click Sign Up at first, they'll be taken to a generic registration page like this. If you'd like to change that to a special page on your own website, you can add those links in here. The confirmation landing page is where people will be sent as soon as they click the Sign Up button. The activation landing page is the page people will see once they click the confirmation link in their email. If you don't add any custom links, that's totally fine. Mimi will send people to a generic landing page like the one you saw before. You can also customize what the confirmation email itself will say. To do that, just click Edit Activation Message. From here, you can decide what the from name, from email, subject line, and message says. By default, the from name will be your company name, and the from email address will be your company address. You can check both of those by clicking on Account at the top of your page. By default, the subject line will say Click to confirm your subscription, but you can change that here to whatever you like. You can also change the message that people see. The confirmation link will be added to the bottom of that message. If you don't add a custom message, that's totally fine too. Mimi will send a generic form that looks something like this. If you'd rather not use the web form that's designed this way via Mad Mimi, you can also use the Embed button. This will give you two different ways to add the web form to your website itself. This styled embed code will retain most of the formatting that you've set up here. The plain HTML code will be a much simpler looking box. When you embed that code onto your website, it'll look something like this. If you want to change that display, you can feel free to edit the HTML code before posting it onto your site. So that's pretty much all there is to know about web forms. If you have any questions or want something explained in more detail, feel free to leave a comment on this video 
or email me at becca at Talk to you soon.